You don't get the interaction you want, even though you post all day. What should you post on your social media to get the interaction that you want? Well, I'm going to go over that in this video. Let's make a right, left, here. Do you have what it takes to make a right, left, here? What's up, good people? I'm Thomas J. Beleza. Welcome to my video. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to learn how to succeed in entertainment, then subscribe by hitting the bell icon so you don't miss out. A social media presence has become a way to connect with your fan base in real time, especially in the entertainment business. It's the quickest way to get new content in front of your audience or give them a heads up on what's next. Social media is an interactive news feed for your particular brand and your brand's message. And maybe you're not getting the return you want on your posts. And I'm going to show you ways to change that. And by the way, sticking around to the end will get you an additional helpful tip. What to post on social media? Does what you post show your adventure while representing your overall brand? If you can answer yes to that question, then you're good to go. So uh, thank you. Have a nice day. All right. Bye. What we call that is an experience post because it is literally a post about your experience within your adventure. And you know what? Content is straight up anything you post for attention. Hey, look at me. Look what I posted. Check this out. Come to this event. Hey, buy this thing. Just go to the show. I have a CD. Watch my web series. No, no, no. Watch my movie. These are all content. These are things to get attention. Hey, look at me. And you know what? I, I realize that's obviously what you want. You want to get people's attention. And it is important to get people's attention. The only problem with content is it doesn't allow your audience to make an emotional connection with your particular brand's message. Because the truth is, people want to see you succeed, but they just, they don't want to hear about it. Here is an experience post example. Exhibit A. This is me and my client turned best friend waiting to meet a producer in LA. This is a photo while I'm at the location. I might write in my brand's voice, JD trying to point out that I knows something or two about prep for meetings with producers, more than just two knuckleheads fudging around. I would also tag JD in the post so his audience can see that post. Now, this is a vague but informative post. Vague by not telling the whole picture, informative by saying JD is there with me to meet a producer, and this shows how productive and proactive I am within the field of my interest. And of course, I dash a little bit of my sense of humor in there with puns, because puns make everything fun. And as you can see, the photo itself allows people to see visually that we are having fun in the photo while also ready for business. Now, to get interaction, focus on these experience posts. And to do that, simply focus on your adventure, specifically your emotional perspective on that adventure. And you're going to do this mostly in the beginning of your brand building. You'll eventually be able to earn the right to post what's known as content or pushing content. And you'll know when exactly that is by following the rule of 10,000. If you want to know more about that, please check out the video in that link above. The advantage of an experience of the adventure that you're having allows people an opportunity to experience it themselves to witness what you are doing and therefore emotionally connecting to the adventure without being told about it. They're watching you succeed, but not necessarily being asked to watch. Because ultimately, if they see that you're doing things and you're showing your excitement and joy and pleasure of doing said things, and you're doing multiple things within your field of interest, they get excited. They really do. They want to see that. They want to enjoy that adventure, that path, that story, that experience of you. More so than you saying, buy the CD, check out the show, look at my web series, come to my performance. Experience versus your content. Think about reality shows. They're so famous for what reason? Well, people like to watch people they don't know, complete strangers, because they're in, interested in their adventure, what's going on. They're watching them to succeed or fail. They don't really care. 
but they're not being told, hey, check me out. I'm going to go do this thing. And uh, I'm going to be, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. You're, you're going to love it. They never say that. But they might say, hey, stay tuned, especially to their fans, because they've earned the right to ask their fans to check out next week's episode. However, we tune back in because we're interested in following the adventure more so than watching people just say, hey, check out this person. They do other things. This is their name. Go to their Facebook. We choose to research them based on our emotional involvement with their adventure. Hello, tip! Here's a fun exercise to build a habit to posting experience about your adventure. If you are going to an event, practice, a meeting, anything within your field of interest, do this. Take a photo before, during, and after said event, practice, meeting, or whatever you're doing within your field of interest. Then write down, either in your phone, on a notepad, or whatever, your experience, your emotional con context to what's going on in that photo, how you feel about going to, how you feel about being at, how do you feel the meeting went, or the experience went. These are just exercises that get you to write, if anything, context of what's going on. Eventually, you'll be able to see that context and then turn it into a strong brand-related message of your experience to your adventure. And even if you don't post right away, this is just good practice. And the photo can specifically be of you or something that involves what it is you're about to do, are doing, or had done, as long as it represents what the message is going to incorporate. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share the video along with subscribing for future content. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive. And remember to look at the people around you, because you want to work with them so you can grow with them and therefore rise with them. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Uh, do you, punk? Uh, do you? Uh, do you? Uh, do you? Uh, do you? I do 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 do